Well, it's no secret that um, I was a local at the Del Mar Skate Ranch, because, you know, that's where I grew up. Thomas Campbell, hey, I wave at you. Ah, Mark Takahashi, I wave at you. Thanks for joining me. Wow, the Flying Nomad all the way from Toronto. Thank you for joining me all the way across here. Iris Skateboards, thank you for supplying skateboard parts for, the, for my Lanny Hedrick Uke, for sure. All right, um, so yes, Del Mar Skate Ranch. That was my home away from home from basically 81, 82 until they closed in 87. So I kind of have a bunch of stuff from the park, of course. So let's share something from the park. <laughs> Here we go. There we go, a tile. And uh, the hardcore locals will know what pool this was from. Although this, it's kind of sun bleached because it used to be red. I know it's kind of orange now, but this obviously must have been facing. It must have been facing the west, so hitting, getting the sun all day, every day, I think. But this is from the infamous uh, kidney pool or uh, the Kona Bowl, they called it. So. <laughs> I'm going to, for those of you who didn't get to go there, I will use something as a, as an example of where this came from. So a friend of me, a friend of mine got the, got this for me as a gift, um, when they were available. <laughs> yes, this is a, a tech deck model of the Kona Bowl, the kidney pool, which they just called Delmar pool for whatever reason. Um, but, so there's some really famous, here I'll turn it around, you can kind of see the whole shape of the pool, even though it's a tech deck version of it. But, um, the really famous Grant Britton photos and other James Casimus and things like that of this pool. And of course that really famous image of Wally Inouye going off the hip um, is just something that's still super cool. Uh, what's weird is that there's a picture yeah, they have a picture of Chris Strobel here. He's actually in the Egg Bowl, which is right next to it. So, let's demonstrate. If you're standing, okay, uh, you're standing at the deep end of the, of the Kona Bowl. So, for reference, for people who didn't get to go there, the Kona Bowl was here, and it was kind of up above the keyhole. So the keyhole was actually down below here to the west. Of, of the Kona Bowl. And then the, the picture of Chris Stropel here, actually there's two pictures, I think. So Chris Stropel in the, in the keyhole, and then Chris Stropel in the Egg Bowl. So if you're standing at the deep end of the Kona Bowl, the Egg Bowl was right here, and the entrance was kind of like right there, and it led into the Egg Bowl. I don't have anything from the Egg Bowl because, well, the Egg Bowl didn't really have anything. It was just a big bowl with no tiles or, um, or coping or anything. But anyway, so the Tech Tech, it's actually a pretty good representation of that. And this, you can kind of see how the tiles used to be red and the long tiles were right under the coping. And then the square tiles were below that. But um, it's one of those things that this is one of the, of course, the whole park was pretty much the same. It stayed the same from day one, I think, pretty much the same from when they they built it. Uh, and I don't know the, the full story behind this bowl. They, they call it the Kona Bowl, and there was a bowl in the San Diego area called the Kona Bowl, just a backyard pool. And they say it was loosely based on it, but all the pictures I see of the original Kona Bowl don't really look like this to me, but I never got to go to the original Kona Bowl. This was my Kona Bowl. Um, and it was about eight feet deep, so the deep end, Deep end was about eight feet deep. Eight foot transition is pretty much right to vert. Um, and then the shallow end, although you can't see it because it's in here. The shallow end was probably, I don't know, maybe five feet deep, but it, it was definitely like a backyard pool. Five feet deep and it went right up to vertical. Um, so it, was a, it took a little get, getting used to. But, um, but it was one of those, I think it was one of the first skate park pools that didn't have some kind of roll-in. I could be wrong about this. I know that there was other things. The Skatetopia had, had a bowl with a roll-in um, probably just before it. But this is one of the, I think this is one of the first 
like backyard style pools in a skate park um, with, yeah, just no rolling. But um, the shallow end was really fun if once you got used to it. Um, you kind of had to get used to the, uh, the, how quick it was. And you can't really judge <laughs> from, from, from that. But, but, uh, but yeah, and so it became a good challenge for, for the locals there because um, you didn't really, there wasn't really contest in this thing, um, and really only the locals kind of sessioned it because it, it was as good as it was. It was a little awkward because it was, it was kind of small, um, and again, the shallow one had no entrance. But of course, that, that left us to figure out how to, to do things in the shallow end for fun. And uh, so learning how to roll into the very steep shallow end was a, a challenge, let alone just dropping into it. But, um, but yeah, but we would kind of would just kind of play around and learn things. Um, my, one of my favorite things was, uh, you can kind of see the hip. I guess you could see it in there. So there was a line that I, that I had that went front side in the deep end and it sent me right up to this, right the middle of the hip. And you could kind of go up the hip, and then there was a pocket right here that kind of threw you back in. But there's that momentary weightlessness, sort of like that everything goes quiet, and then the, the transition came back to that. I could do that for days on end and just entertain myself. And uh, I used to pretend I was Chris Miller, because Chris Miller would kind of do lines like that at Upland, where he would come up hips and then go around the shallow end of the, the, the combi pool. So that was my way of pretending I was Chris Miller, come up there and whip around that whole thing. And uh, yeah, so, you know, it kind of just, that's skateboarding. You know, we kind of just spend our, spend our days imitating our favorite skaters. I mean, I know I do, I still do. Um, anytime I step on a skateboard, that's, that's what I do. But, uh, oh, I, I have a comment from Bill Billing. Four feet, but probably about like five feet. <laughs> Yes, Bill Billing, you are correct. It, it might have been four feet high, which was like, you know, a foot taller than me <laughs> at that time. Yeah, it felt like, it felt like five. You know, hey, Darren Navarrette, nice to see you. I wave at you. I'm talking about the Del Mar pool. Um, but um, there, this, the pool was weird and it was still kind of rough because it didn't get sessioned a lot. Like the keyhole was actually kind of slippery from everybody riding it. But this was pretty grippy and... Um, so it was, it was a little weird not having like too much give because you kind of got used to that little bit of give from the other pools. But um, this wall actually, uh, it, yeah, and it's hard to tell. So this wall in the deep end right next to the, the hip, arguably the, the best wall as far as like transition goes uh, and kinks and whatnot. That wall was perfect. It was definitely one of the best walls in the whole park. The problem being was getting there. Um, this side, on the opposite side, it was, it was kind of cut short, so there's almost like a little corner there. So it, it was a little awkward. You could either come this way and, and cut it and go straight down, or you could kind of whip it around and, and get up by the hip. But this wall was really good if you could get to it. Um, it was perfect. Uh, yeah, and then, oh, you know, there's, there's a famous shot, of Grant Britton shot of Steve Caballero early on. He's riding Ray Bones, Rodriguez board, doing a front side ollie, and that's on the face wall of this pool right there. Uh, and the face wall was pretty good, too, but not as good as that wall. But, again, you kind of had to skate it every day to figure out how to get there. Um, there were definitely some, some locals that could really, really skate this thing well. Um... I got around okay in it. I certainly wouldn't make any claims to anything um, other than, um, I don't know, some of, some of these guys in here that um, uh, might, have, might have been there. Um, <laughs> Mark Takahashi, I bet Swift hated it. Mark, I honestly cannot say that I ever saw Dave Swift ride that pool. Um, I don't think he ever did. Uh, I wrote it with, you know, with Tony and Kevin Staub and just some of the locals. Reese Simpson could skate that thing really well. Um, and this, this flat wall, actually, um, nowadays, so there's a, coming out of the deep end on the opposite side of the hip, 
there was kind of a flat wall here, so you could kind of come out of the deep end and, and hit this flat wall. And if, you know, this is before people sauced up coping, so it was just raw coping, so you really had to kind of power through it. If, uh, if it was modern times, people would probably go, on, go across that whole wall around the shallow end and back into the deep end. So. But alas, it was not there. <laughs> when, when we were there, there was no sauce. It was just dry coping. But it was really good coping because even with the abuse that it took, it really didn't look any, didn't show any signs of, of wear. But uh, yes, so that really, that's really kind of it um, about that tile from the original um, Conable kidney pool, uh, what have, you know, whatever you would call it. But again, this, it used to be red. I know it doesn't really look like, if you look really close on the edge, yeah, you can kind of see the red that's left. But again, because it's facing the sun the whole time, yeah, even on the edges, you can't really see it. But uh, yeah, it used to be red. Trust me <laughs> on this one. Yeah, so, I don't know. Um, oh yes, yeah, so that, um, thanks Tony Allen. Uh, I guess for me, if I were to claim anything, uh, about that pool um, out of sheer boredom uh, because of skating there every day and trying to find something new. Uh, I learned how to do airs uh, in the shallow end it would, of all four feet deep. Um, and I don't know how, but I remember doing inverts in that. And I don't know why. Again, it's probably just sheer boredom like, ah, that's really funny. That's silly. Let's do inverts in the shallow end. And um, so, yeah, only the hardcore locals were, were going to do that. <laughs> so, yes, there we go. Talking about a tile. And next thing you know, it's 20 minutes later. <laughs>